I bought a bunch of junk from Timu. Apparently it's the in new thing to buy stuff on Timu. And I found some actually kind of decent gaming stuff. Um, like gaming merchandise, knickknacks, that kind of thing. But we'll actually see how good it is. If you can hear my laptop in the background, sorry, it's a very hot day today. And my laptop really doesn't like it when it's a hot day. So we'll get this open now. Oh, what is that? That is a weird smell. So the first size we'll have a look at, and I think this is actually a really cool one. So this is a little Korok, look at that. Let's get him out of the packaging. So this is actually slightly smaller than I was expecting, but it's still quite nice. So this was about four pounds or so. I don't think Tendo actually do official ones of these. So obviously it's a rip off one, but quality is actually surprisingly nice. Is this little like, it's like a soft touch felt thing. The stitching looks really nice. The padding inside is really nice. This was four pounds. So it wasn't the cheapest thing in the world, but it's certainly not a bad price either. And I'm quite happy with that. Right, we'll do this next then. So this is a all-in-one charging cable thing for a DS and a PSP. I want to get one of these because I had one, but my mum lost it. So I got quite annoyed about that. And so I just bought some more on Timu. Now this one actually has quite a lot of more of them. So all I really needed is the PSP one there and the DSi slash 3DS one. But this one even comes with an original DS slash Game Boy Advance one, SP rather, and it also comes with a DS Lite one. I can charge essentially multiple DSs with this. I may even do like a short trying that or something. So now it's basically just keychain things. Uh, next one I thought was really cool is this one. There, the quality is surprisingly nice on this. Like I think it cost a pound, but this is full metal. I thought this would be plastic, but no, this is metal. Inside is pretty plastic. It looks like a heart container from uh, Breath of the Wild or Tears of the Kingdom. So that's why I bought it and I'm going to put it on my bag. So I think that looks really cool. Next one up, another keychain. This one is a Sheikah Slate from obviously Breath of the Wild. I would have preferred the Pura Pad from Tears of the Kingdom, but this still looks really cool. I think this is, yeah, this is solid metal as well, but it looks like bronze. And I thought that's probably the best color to have. Even if I try and flex it, this is surprisingly sturdy and actually bigger than I was expecting. So again, this is a really solid pickup. Next one. So this one is a... Uh, Triforce. I don't know if it's, I can't remember, yeah, I don't know if it's 3,000 years later. Twilight Princess or Skyward Sword, something like that, but <laughs> 2012 Nintendo. I, I love that so much because there's a podcast by Bob and, and Wood that, <laughs> that's called Nintendo. So I'm just like, dude, you're ripping them off. I didn't put these out, have I? There we go. Boom, boom, and boom. I may as well go with the biggest item here. Now, this is a Are bag. You sure about that? So let's get the bag out of the bag. I thought I got the brown one. So basically Timu was doing like this introduction deal where you get one of these bags for like 90p, might as well. Seems like a pretty sturdy bag. I could put my gaming stuff in here. It is packaged quite well. I will give Timu that. We've got a little pocket there. We've got a little front pocket here, which again is also very well packaged. I don't know how to review bags. So <laughs> I don't know what I'm what I'm saying here really. For a pound, that seems really nice. It was either this or I could have got some Lenovo headphones, which I would have much rather have got those at this point. But this is actually quite a solid little bag in fact i want to see if i can fit my steam deck in there give me a second three days later see if we can shove the steam deck in here almost we almost fit the steam deck in there yeah unfortunately we can't quite get the steam deck in but that's not that far off shame it wasn't a little longer but hey there we go at least it's carryable in that state what we can do is fit a nintendo switch in there so a switch will fit in just fine or if you have a really cheap handheld console nice that'll also fit in there just easily yeah for a pound that's a really solid bag i mean it might last like two weeks but who knows and the piece of resistance well not really i've shown most of it off and finally i bought just this little keychain thing for my mum there because i'm a very nice son hello apart from the bag over there this is everything i bought from timu a lot of these are actually really surprisingly high quality and i probably will be buying more stuff in there actually relatively impressed with these there's not actually i don't think there's as many scams as there would be on like wish or aliexpress or something so at least at the moment timu is a pretty solid buy for very specific things i can't comment on all the quality and i can't comment on how long these things will last but definitely better than i expected thanks for watching go watch my other stuff bye